Good morning, everybody. Day three in Dallas. Uh, it's our last day in Dallas. Tomorrow morning we are leaving for Austin, and so for our last day here, we have explored the area where we are staying, and so now we want to venture out a little bit. We're going to Frisco, which, uh, if you guys know Ben Wegman, Zane's obsessed, and he does a lot of real estate and stuff, and we've just seen a lot of great things about Frisco, of how beautiful it is, and it's about 30 minutes away from where we're staying. We're in like downtown Dallas area, so we're gonna venture out into suburbs, which is where if we were to move here years from now if we wanted to maybe possibly i don't know that is probably the areas that we would live not like in the city you know yeah we just want to see what dallas ha i the mean the dallas surrounding area as a whole has to offer that's mm -hmm. all we're gonna go check it out yeah we'll and do something up. new we've been yeah. exploring here for the last two days so yeah. we're gonna grab some food over there explore some nice neighborhoods get barbecue. get barbecue i also asked you guys on instagram your suggestions of like things to do things <clears> to see so we're gonna look at that and kind of just play by ear and see if there's any like cool things to do and see and eat over there we have yes. not eaten yet today and it is 12 o'clock. That's how that's like how we've been getting out of here. Yeah, it feels nice to just take our time and just do what we want. So, Facts. not it's feeling rushed. no paper, whatever we want. Mm -hmm. I, I <laughs> no paste. I definitely need to um, wash my hair tomorrow, but I will say I'm very impressed with how it's been holding up. I've been styling it like over and over again. Right now, it's really messy, curly, but yesterday it was in braids and I was sweating and I, it just needs to be washed. So, um, that's that for today. Oh, outfit of the day. Hit him with your fire, babe. Okay, okay. Hello? Lighting? Air Jordan 1 mochas. Who got you those? The best girlfriend ever. <laughs> Your little green and pink obey. You know what this color reminds me of? Sweatshorts, nice little comfy vibe. What? Where are these from? Fashion Nova? These are Fashion Nova, I think, yeah. This reminds me of that character. What's his name? Dumbo? That, Ooh. that green guy. Not Dumbo. Is that his name? That was elephant. Oh elephant. yeah, not Dumbo. What's the green guy? He's tall and he's got arms like this and he looks like a piece of gum. What are you talking about? <laughs> I have to find him. What? My outfit of the day, my top is from Amazon. It's like a tight, um, like high neck shirt. Okay, okay. And then Princess Polly shorts, Princess Polly bag. Mm. And my uh, Adidas Cloud Foam sneakers because they're just like comfy, cute. They have no laces. That was a lot of explaining. Are we good? You want sunscreen? I don't think we're gonna be able to sun that much. No, we're gonna do more driving. Driving around. Walmart, Walmart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a phone wire for the car? Yep. We keep forgetting that. I got it. I'm not pocket. Okay. I think we're good. Yeah, phones, cameras. Phones. That's all we need. You have my phone? Yeah. Okay. All right. We're gonna go get our car from the valet and we're good to go. We've made a mess in here. Actually, I've made a mess. <laughs> in that bed. You don't think I made a mess? No, I feel like we're rel relatively clean. Okay, I'll take it. This is the area that we're staying in. It's very cool. Oh, so 214. It smells like a little bit of good I good. Maybe it's, maybe it's the, the person of, from across from us. It's always like I don't mind you it. walk out and then it goes away. Mm, oh, I'll take that over cigarette smell any day. Who's calling me? Somebody's yeah. calling me. Yeah. Mom talk? Yeah. I got one before too. Before. Hello? You ended it on my phone? <laughs> I'm like, they hung up. Right, you're standing warranty. I've been doing my makeup so fast, so I'm like nervous. No, it was bomb. Oh, thank you. Okay. okay, well, here's our first impressions. We are two minutes away from the restaurant that's in Frisco. And we're getting very upstate New York vibes over here. Yeah, very like much Audi's land. Long yeah, out East Long Island, which is not the not the vibe that we're exactly going for, but we haven't made it to the restaurant yet and we still have to explore the surrounding area. But first impressions is lots of fair land, which is not what we want to live there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> over here. Like you can get this in New York, it's just not where we live. Oh, hundred percent, yeah. You go out east or out you east, go yeah. There is cows. Cows. Oh my god, there's a lot. <gasps> Look at them. Oh. See, right here is like life. We have to explore. Oh, baby, more. I know there's life. Yeah. Of course there's life. It's a of whole course. big ass town. Yeah. Is this a city or a town? I don't know what Be this honest, is yeah, considered. Oh, we're literally here. Popeyes. Did you take us to Popeyes? Yes. How'd you know? Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, seriously? It's in the same parking lot? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, Hutchins. What? The thing was beeping like I was about to hit the curb. You're fine though. 
It's fine. Look at all this space. Look at all that space you got there in front of that car. Did you hear it? was like... It was like... I thought it was too much fun. No, but you're fine. You're still in the spot. You want to move up? Yeah, I want to move up. Okay, move up, baby. Move up. We don't want to get made fun of. It's a little ridiculous. It's a little ridiculous. <laughs> We've made it to Hutchins. It smells amazing, honestly. I smell fried chicken. Barbecue food. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Good. Oh my god, I smell barbecue food. What does that smell like? Isn't that fried chicken? It smells like... Yeah, fried chicken. Oh my god, I'm smelling Popeyes. <laughs> I'm like, it smells like such good fried chicken. It's Popeyes. A little pit stop at Popeyes. No, honestly, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be so good. I'm gonna get mac and cheese. Mac and cheese, and, and I'm gonna get all the sides, to be honest. I don't really eat barbecue food, but we'll see. I'll try something, but I like mac and cheese, the coleslaw. What else they got? All the sides, that's what I want, a sampler. <laughs> I got my vlog up today, finally. I've been waiting for brand approval, and I had it ready for like two days. And I haven't been uploading. I've been posting all over my Instagram stories, but I haven't uploaded a vlog in so long because we're here and I wanted to enjoy it. And so I feel good that I got that up and it was a brand deal. So I got up my reel and everything. It feels good. And it's like one o'clock and we haven't eaten yet. So this is about to slap. Oh, they have outdoor. Can we sit outside? I don't know. I want to sit inside. You want to sit inside? Oh, I like the heat. Okay, here we go, you guys. Two mac and cheeses, fried okra, coleslaw. Oh, thank you. And then we got, they have a um, brisket and cheese wrapped jalapeno and bacon. And then what else do we have, babe? Brisket. Burnt and then ends. burnt ends. And then he sold us, he let us try this jalapeno cheddar sausage. It was the best sausage I've ever had in my whole entire life. Unbelievable. You and got we got a seltzer. I did? No, I hit water. Yeah, baby, it's oh, it's definitely bubbling. I mean, I don't mind. Oh, I was like Sierra Mist, but then it had a water thing. Oh, that's weird. It was probably carbonated. What? I don't know. I like seltzer, so I'm chilling. I'm fine with that. It tastes good, Perfect. actually. It tastes good. Oh, I'm so excited. Barbecue sauce, plates. All right, let's make little plates. <laughs> oh, that's sick. All righty. Oh my god, this was like falling apart. Are you kidding? Wait, how are the burnt ends? Amazing. Amazing. Oh, but this looks like it's gonna fall apart in your mouth. Come on. Mmm. You know why it's good? I hate when meat is smoky tasting, and this is not smoky at all. Mmm. Mmm. No barbecue sauce is so good. Oh my god. Oh my god. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> so <you>. good. <laughs> <gasps> that barbecue sauce, it's like liquidy. It's like like watery. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow, wait, okay, wait. I'm taking a quick trip to heaven. Though. We're taking a quick trip. This is the best barbecue food I've ever had. I'll give it to Texas. New York, I've never had anything like this in New York. Yeah, even like upstate New York? Uh, nope, this. nope. Okay, let's do a quick taste test so we can enjoy. And people are probably staring at me with my camera, but like, who cares? Okay, mac and cheese, babe. Mac and cheese. Oh, hi. Fire. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's really, really good. <laughs> Mac and cheese slaps. Coleslaw. Is that's good coleslaw. Oh, let's see if you like it, because do you only like mine? Good coleslaw. Okay, now fried okra. Mmm. Do you like fried pickles? Yeah. Mm hmm Good stuff, man. Okay, the guy in the front was like, hey, what are you, a foodie? I'm like, yeah. It's like, what's your YouTube? <laughs> I told him. Imagine. There's no way he's going to remember that. The brisket? Phenomenal. Wait. I've never experienced this in my life. <laughs> New York has got some mock food, but I am giving the barbecue to Texas. One million percent. Okay, then we got jalapeno stuffed with cream cheese and brisket wrapped in bacon. How is it? Absolutely incredible. Dude, wait. We might have to move to Frisco just for this restaurant. I'm down. The ordering style was really cool. Yeah, I like it. 
Chipotle. It was like Chipotle, but then you get it and sit down. And, oh, the hot sauce, babe, you want? No, he doesn't like spicy anymore. <sighs> okay, we're gonna enjoy it. Wow. Even the food is amazing. Wow, 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 wow. He doesn't need hot sauce. Alrighty, so we finished eating, came to the car. Now we are exploring Frisco, looking at neighborhoods. We're getting to more of like a suburby kind of area, I feel like. Look, you guys. <gasps> It's an Aldi and a Dollar Tree and a Planet Fitness and a food market. Oh, it's Aldi food market, duh. <laughs> that was the sign for Aldi. All right, here's our first explorative area. We're near Brook Hollow Boulevard. I think that's apartment buildings though, like obviously, right? No, there's homes to the right. Well, I'm saying though, but these are apartments. Yeah, these are definitely like condos. Chapel Creek, it's Friday. Is it skated? Can I go home? <gasps> Damn. Come on, man. What's the price range of these? The one that I found was like a few million. What? Yeah. Oh, this is beautiful. It literally reminds me of a movie. I will say, just for this specific area and a few other areas I've seen, I'm not a fan of how close the houses are. I yeah. I feel like if they were like slightly more far apart, they'd be sick. But if I was spending like a lot of money on a house, mm. like a million plus, like I'd want to have a little more property. You don't want to high five your neighbor. Yeah. I thought Frisco was like 500k range. It, baby, it's just like any other place. Like, there's gonna be it a depends. bunch of different neighborhoods. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you saw like when we walked in. I don't know if we walked in when we drove in. There was a sign that said Five Star Neighborhood. Oh. Well, I mean, yeah. I love that one. That one is sick. That one, I would. I want that one. That's for us, right there. What is that ahead of us? I don't know. We're gonna just keep cruise exploring. around. I will say, I do like neighborhoods where the houses look the same, but these are kind of all two the same. Yeah. These are kind of like, I don't remember which one's mine. Yeah. <laughs> Except for the ones we just passed before, but all these brick ones, they all look the same. True, but also, they're just so close together. Yeah, they are very, very close together. This is a literal castle. That is literally a castle. <laughs> God, these are crazy. This is huge, look at this one. Yeah, this area is sick. Oh my God, with the big like archway. Whoa. Oh my God, though. Oh, like, oh my goodness. What? All the arches makes it look so fancy. Yeah. I love that style. With the arches, right? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Except, well, like, I don't know. Some of them kind of look like I would see, like, a gnome walking out of them. What? Do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, mythical. <laughs> like, it looks like you would see, like, a doop, doop, boom, like a little gnome coming out of the door. <laughs> it really kind of reminds me of, like, Fairyland. <laughs> oh, uh, beautiful. Sorry, I'm feeling dude who's looking at me like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> The bluffs, that's where we are. Look at that one, oh my god. Oh my god, I love the white brick with the black. Me too. Like every time I see one, I'm like, oh, yes. I know, me too. <laughs> and here we go. Walmart Supercenter, three minutes away from that's that lovely. neighborhood. That's very nice. I like that. That's like closer than at home. That is true. Three minutes. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Something else I wanted to mention too was, you know how people say like, oh, like you have like Southern charm when you're from the South? At the restaurant at the barbecue place, a woman that was like cleaning up the tables and stuff, she came over and like to the um, little tray that we had, she was like, you want me to take that for you, darling? Just like that. And I immediately felt like comforted. I was like, oh, <laughs> it was so nice. We have made it to the local Walmart. I said before we even traveled to Texas that I want to like go to their local places and like grocery stores and things like that. So I just want to see like the ambiance of their Walmart. That might sound silly, but like it's important. And also Zane wants some like little like crappy t-shirt, not crappy, but like <laughs> cheap kind of like Hanes t-shirts and shorts because he didn't like pack enough. So we're going to go explore in Walmart. In Walmart. We're going to Walmart and Dicks. It's a hot one today, boys. Yes. I feel like it's like raw heat today. Yesterday was not as hot. Today it is. Wow. If we were walking on Six Valleys today, I'd be upset. This looks like the one by us. Hey, it looks like Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> what? You, should, what? You, <laughs> you read it so funny off camera, so I thought when I turned it on, you would read it again. What? I didn't do anything. Nothing of the sort. <laughs> okay, basketball shorts and t-shirts. Look, these are seven, eight. <laughs> oh. Seven, eight. I'm gonna have to rock little Mario time. Little Mario. I want just a comfy ACDC. shirt that I can chill in. ACDC. What does this one say? Wait. I do what I want whenever I want. I love it. Is that what it says? No. It just says I oh, do no, it. Oh no, it has a cat. <gasps> I do what I want with it pushing it off the table, the glass. You see that? Yeah. You need that because you always leave your cups on the table and the cats knock it down. No. That's a damn laugh. <laughs> no, it's not. Rhonda? 
We're only oh, two horseshoes away. Cool. We have to do that. that we, I, mean, I kind of want this Mario shirt. Okay. I want like a nice, I want it to be comfy. The, yeah. Maybe we'll even get a large. How about this one? It says I'm done peopling. Huh? I'm done peopling. <laughs> Wait, look at these shorts. Sweat shorts, babe. They're not, like nice sweat shorts. They're nice. thin. They're thin too for like hot weather. Ooh. You should try one of those on. I like this. Walmart's got some good stuff. They got the goodies. Look, and you want a muscle tank? Six, six dollars. Nirvana. Yo, it looks like you got it at PacSun. Sure I've seen this. Wait, like they probably run bucks. big. Look at the small. Hold the small up to you. Of course, they don't have medium. Hold We're them. gonna hold the small. Up. Yeah, let's see. I'd rather have a large though, to be honest. Yeah, cause yeah. Yeah, no. Get the large. I'm a big ball. Large will shrink a little bit too. Wait, that says Wu Tang. That's oh, his, this is Wu Tang. Yeah. We found a medium. Nice. <gasps> See, guys, what's cool about Wait, this? Wait, hold it up. It looks small still. Is this a no? No, no, shirt? it's coming out. You gotta open it. Huh. Maybe a large might be better. Hold it up. It's gonna be a little snug. Yeah. Now I'm gonna get a large because, yeah. guys, don't let lists lead you astray. What? I did pack enough. Oh. However, I just decided it would be nice to have something like comfy cozy. Mm-hmm. So you didn't it. pack any comfy cozies. That's what that would mean. Okay. You want the real truth? What? Usually, I just sleep in my boxers. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Liz wants to make a TikTok where we go from like bummy <laughs> Oh, to, like, so you're getting this for the TikTok? Yeah, really. That's so like, nice of you. She wants to go bummy uh -huh. to like all dressed it's up. like a glow up. But like, I don't want to just be in my boxers and my little chonies. <laughs> Can't do that. I need comfy clothes. <laughs> See how I that one have, Let's I open have, it. Uh, comfy shorts that I brought too, but why not just like you know get a tea. Something. Get a tea, yeah. Open it. We have to get. We want to see if they have shot glasses. Texas shot glasses here. I will not. Yeah, they will probably have them at the the Bucky's yeah, or Bucky's that everybody yeah, keeps telling us to yeah, go yeah. to. Bucky's Buck. I'm assuming it's Bucky's. Bussies. Bucky's. Imagine we're just butchering it's like Boosies or something. Boosies. And we're saying Bucky's. I think it's Bucky's. That makes more sense for Texas. Bucky's. We need to get a little loofah because I hate using a washcloth. Oh my god, it's a two pack. I like that one. Give me the green one. No, no, no. Yeah, I'll take the green one. Okay, I'll take the black one. It is unbelievably warm today. Yesterday I was good. Okay, Walmart haul. Zane got his Nirvana shirt. He got comfy little sweatshorts. These are Fruit of the Loom. I got. Um, Sorry, guys. I thought I saw. What? No, because I'm just sitting here on my phone in silence while you're doing your haul. Oh. I was just looking something up because I thought I saw someone famous, but I don't oh. know. I can't tell. Oh. I got this shine spray because my hair's been looking a little dry. And then Zane got a free sugar-free nice. Red Bull. We got our little loofah set, adorable. Oh. And I got myself a smart waltz, huh? And I really want a smoothie, so I'd like to try to find it. Like try a, find a smoothie. Tropical, oh. tropical smoothie or something. Sounds good. When we, in this hot weather, you like want it. Oh wait, that's him. Is it, let me see, let me see. In the car? What's that, what is that? It's a G-Wagon. Who do you think it is? That's him. Who do you think it is? It's the owner of Optic. Oh, the one that we passed before? Yeah, what the hell? Wait, maybe I'm... Hold on, I have my glasses You're on. You're tripping? Let's see. What does he look like? He's got tinted windows. He had a man bun. That guy had a man bun. Are you sure? No, I don't think so. What, is he Spanish? Yeah. He looked it. I couldn't really No, tell. I'm... Because on his, uh... The front windshield was clear, but his sides were tinted. No, I think that's how I know he drives a black G wagon. That's cool. I think we want to explore some more neighborhoods in Frisco, and mm -hmm. then maybe some like areas of like Prosper, McKinney, McKinney. Plano, or Plano. I don't know. How I don't to say know. How it. We've been, every time we talk about it, we go Plano, Plano. I thought like the right way of saying it would be Plano. You Let's know? look it up once and for all. But it, it might be Plano. I don't know. Know about Plano, Texas? Oh, it's Plano. 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 What are we, New York Plano? No, we sound dumb. Plano. <laughs> Plano. It is super fun just driving around like an area that you've never been to and just like exploring. So fun. But just like, you know how you like people watching? Yeah. I like House town, watching? town watching. Just like going around town and looking at like yeah. new areas that I've never been to. My tan is already disintegrating <sighs> off of my body from the heat. Like I'm starting to look like an alligator from sweating. It didn't last very long. What are you gonna do? Austin's not gonna see the best in me. Oh, we got a loofah now, so I can take off my tan. I brought a little travel tanner. I'll try to fix it. Smoothie. You want to get a smoothie first? Well, you get first one? and foremost. If they have a tiny one, I'll get yeah, one. Yeah, I want a, I want a small too. For sure. Smoothie King, 800 feet. 
Smoothie King is like famous, no? I never had Smoothie King. Wait, that's hilarious. It's right here. It is. Well, your wish is my command, princess. Let's go. <laughs> Smoothies. I'll take it. Let's see what they got. Let me look at the menu. Can I actually... I don't want to forget. Can I have my one. vitamin, my, my Zyrtec? They have high protein ones. Yeah, why don't you put them in the park and take that right now? What else is in here? A loose vitamin. Oh my god. That sounds like a you problem. <laughs> Uh, I just burped a little barbecue and now I want more. Ew! That's disgusting. How is that disgusting? That's so gross. You just, you're mad because you can't burp. <laughs> you put it loose in here with my hair tie and everything? <laughs> nice. Thank you. Peanut Power Plus. Oh yeah. Why am I allergic to so many things? Wow, they have a lot of cool stuff. I saw a TikTok last night. And it was a guy and he was like, we should just kill off everybody that has a peanut allergy to make the human population stronger. And then the top comment was like, I have a peanut allergy and I agree. And I think I agree too. Just get rid of, <laughs> get rid of us weaklings that can't even have some fucking food. It's <laughs> messed up. Wait, I think they have a, a watermelon strawberry. Hydration watermelon. A healthier way to recover and refuel. The new hydration watermelon is here for a limited time. This refreshing flavor will help you beat the heat and stay hydrated all summer long. It's a watermelon juice blend, strawberries, electrolyte blend, coconut water, and turbinado. What the hell is that? Coconut water. To be honest, I don't think I'm allergic to like... Oh, it's just a type of sugar. I was going to say, I don't think I'm allergic to anything unknown. It's a natural brown sugar. Watermelon, strawberry, coconut water. Sounds lovely. Should we get some vodka to put in it? Alyssa. <laughs> Hello. We didn't take any pictures today. Yeah, we're gonna have to. But it is a hot girl summer for your boy. Yeah. Smoothie King. Smoothie King. Smoothie King. I am not. The we could have did curbside pickup. So let's Wait. do some research. Taste test. Okay, taste test me. Smells amazing. We really need to put some vodka in here. Oh, that's a rose. <laughs> you can. Mm -mm. Wow. That's refreshing. Mm. I shouldn't even give you any. Wow, that's refreshing. <laughs> was that cheesy of me? Wait, can I actually have a sip? That was good. I'm never ruin. That's fire. That's delicious. That was good. They were doing 20 ounce and 32 ounce was the same price today. But we were like, we won't drink a whole 32 yeah. ounce. But baby, can you go on Zillow yeah. and find ones that are for sale that we can afford? No. Yes, baby, We're gonna go to point. one that's 3.5 million. You're so annoying. And Why? Then and then I'm gonna pick one. Baby, I'm the one driving. If, if you were a good co-captain, you would have a list of addresses. Okay? So don't come at me for choosing when you had ample opportunity. I think we should look at both. Oh no? yeah, both is fine. But yeah. this is the second, third, fourth neighborhood of millions of dollars houses. Hello? <laughs> Swallow. Oh god, that would have been terrible. She asked if, she, if we wanted it in two separate cups. I'm like, that's adorable, but it's okay. And now I'm thinking that we should have. No, it's okay. You have it. You don't want any? No, a little bit. Good for your soul. You need some fruits. And sugar. If I was a little more hungry, I'd want to get a Krispy Kreme donut. But I feel like I I'm know. so stuffed, I wouldn't even enjoy it mm -hmm. right now. We'll go another day. You can make some great cocktails with watermelon juice for me at home. Do you want, baby? I pro well, actually, you can't drink and drive. No, no, no. I don't actually want it. I'm just saying. I'm joking. Not drink and drive, by the way. I meant no. like drink and be in the passenger seat. I don't think you could do that. I don't know. Actually, I don't know what the rules are in Texas. In New York, you can't do that. Are you listening? What? No, I wasn't. Watermelon juice, which you get for home for you to make cocktails. Yeah, definitely. I'm gonna juice my own watermelon. Okay, I found a really nice house online, but it's 20 minutes away from all like the good stuff that we were just at. Like this is all just like flat land. We were just by like s like stores and things like that and Walmart. This was like 20 minutes out, but it's a beautiful new neighborhood. Oh, these houses are stunning. So let's see what it looks like. Yeah, it's beautiful, but. You have to drive so far to get to stuff. I know, yeah. Although maybe the other way there's more stuff. Maybe we just came from, you know what I mean? Ooh, oh. That house is gorgeous. Wait, I want to see the one that was online. Okay, wait, slow down. She's here somewhere. Which one? Oh, the one with the sign in front of it. Oh, that's a beautiful house. Yeah. That's, that's a, nice a house. beautiful house. No, five, houses, that was a 560 house. These houses are spaced 
far like further than before i feel like like yeah better space no i like this neighborhood the, the best out of all we've been to really yeah no that's super cat aesthetically like the houses are gorgeous the but houses like, i like all the houses better no we've been through some other neighborhoods where like there's a lot more trees and like yes. curvier and yes also this is like right outside you know what i'm saying like mm -hmm. look to your right mm -hmm. that's not like this is probably a very new neighborhood it's you know? super new they're still building it yeah it is like all these houses are stunning though. yeah like, i want to see how far it is from like something let's see actually nearest walmart is eight minutes away from here mm. so it's not that far away and the Aldi's a four minute drive. Okay, so here we go. Three, four minutes up the road is like shopping and stuff. That's pretty good. Yeah, here's an Aldi. Yeah, there's an Aldi. That's literally so three minutes away it was. Yeah. We're checking out Prosper and everything is like pretty much still being built. It's like a brand new neighborhood. And on the way here, it was very country. Very country, like, which very is fine, but not for us. Yeah. But the houses, Frisco oh my God. was like a bit. Or busier slash pop yeah. in like a lot of stores a lot of stuff like that yeah yeah these houses this are is like enough. this is all new see i want to find a neighborhood with these style houses that are further apart with big backyards with gorgeous neighborhoods like this that mm. is near stuff mm. that's a lot, of boxes to check. a lot of boxes to check off but i believe it's out there it's i don't there know where somewhere. but it's out there <laughs> oh man it's been a long day in the car driving around everywhere so far our favorite is dallas and right now we're in Plano, and it's very nice. We really didn't like Prosper, sorry to say. And where we were, and I feel like we drove around a lot in Prosper. Yeah. Just so much land, and like yeah. just nice. It would have like a group of like really nice houses that were so close to each other, and then right outside of that, just straight land mm -hmm. for so long. Yeah. But like I think someone said that prosper is like super upcoming so maybe that's why there's just not a lot of like development yet mm -hmm. but so far in plano it's like there's a ton of shopping centers the houses are nice the neighborhoods yeah. are nice i agree with Liz personally i think dallas has been the best so far yeah which i thought we for, would for love like frisco taste, yeah. i thought we would love frisco but it's just i know not. i did also as soon as we like got there i'm like it's nice and there's some nice areas but I it's not for it us out. to live there what? i just figured it out what? this is why because the suburbs of Dallas, right? You drive 15, 20 minutes, what do you get? City. The city. I said that. That's exactly like how it is where we live. Yes. It's like you drive 15, 20, 30 minutes in our case, you get the city. Yes. It's like over here though, I feel like you leave this area like 15, 20 minutes and it's like country. Yeah. Or farmland, whatever word you want to use, like just land. I think the difference is in Dallas, we were like loving it so much. We're like, oh, we could see ourselves living here and Frisco, McKinney, all those kind of areas. We were like, mm. It's I don't nice, really feel like I can see myself living there. Tea, yeah. Even like where we live on Long Island, Long Island's expensive, but it's like if we love it, for example, we could always change the house. Yeah, we could always buy a house that's like not our aesthetic or whatever, mm -hmm. and then slowly over time make it the way we want. Yeah. Sorry, guys, I feel like all we're doing is filming us driving today, but that's just what we've been doing. But now there's like a little village, like a little town here. No squirrely, okay. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, gosh. That squirrel's gonna go rogue. Oh, no. <laughs> Literally just drove through the cutest little town with some sculptures. <gasps> this is super nice, but now we just have to see the houses and see apartments. Yeah. All right. We're in the suburbs of Addison. We drove about 10 minutes from where we just were. All like the plazas and stuff like that. I'm not seeing big backyards by any means. Yeah, there's no... But... That's what it is. You don't have a lot of land gorgeous. in the back. It's not really about how close you are. It's like as long as you have a big property. Yeah, but I love this whole neighborhood. Yeah. Wow. It is really pretty. I just wish the houses were like a little bit more further apart or just like you said like in general you just have a little bit more land yeah just more land in the back last you guys last neighborhood stop of the day before we go home and go get is dinner this, highland park? this is highland park this is so nice we love she's right by the city yeah i think but honestly, she's suburby yeah i think right outside of the city is our sweet spot this yes is nice. this is so nice wait okay like find a house that we would live in though Oh, just let me turn down this beautiful block that's tree lined. Oh my God, this is my heaven. Saint's gonna be sleeping tonight, and I'm gonna hear trees. The trees. Nice. I'm gonna buy your house for me, even though you live there. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> Imagine you lived in one of these houses, and somebody came up to the door and was like, "I will pay you double what you paid for this house if you move out. <laughs> if you sell it to me." I'm sure that's happened before. I would do it. Like unless we're somebody or unless like take someone's offer. No, no, I would take somebody's offer unless we're in like our dream, 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 dream home. 
dream, 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 dream. <laughs> you know what I mean though? I'd be like, yeah, hell yeah, I'll take double and go buy a nicer house. Wait, do you know where that's from? It's not I'm dropping you over here. Dream, 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 dream. A cartoon of some sort. No. Backyardians? No. What? <gasps> Shark Boy and Lava Girl, come on. Oh. Wait. Nice. Baby. Nah, I'm gonna keep it a, a 100 fat stack with you. This is the best area. This is, but the houses are still too close. Oh my god, you're so drama. Like, where do you want to live? In Bumble? Nah, to be honest, this is definitely more manageable, I feel like. And you know what it reminds me of? What? A nice area on Long Island. Mm. Like, this literally looks like we could find this. This looks like, like this. Green Lawn or something, mm -hmm. if you know what that area looks like. Yeah, this is good news, you guys. <laughs> this is great news. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Wait, a 699. It's an apartment. Yeah, I knew that was super expensive. That's an apartment. 1.1 for this house. Damn, we have expensive taste. We really do. Like, we gotta step it up. Yeah, we gotta work harder. Yeah. 10.6 million. One of those houses. Oh my god. Those big ones? We gotta be like the guy from TikTok. I didn't think they were. <laughs> Excuse me. Sweet. What do you do for a living? <laughs> I mean, th some of those were like. Literally like castle mansions. I bet, you, I bet you it's because we're like right by the city. It's like yeah. the super rich people in the city. This is probably where they live. Because mm -hmm, it's suburby, but right by the city. Yeah. Wait, you put the address into the Airbnb? Yes. Yes, that's why we're literally 10 minutes outside the yeah. city. Yeah. 10 minutes away from Dallas city. So it's convenient. You pay wow. for convenience. That area was... This so one is almost 10 million. I'm going to say it again. I freaking love these highways. I'm going to yeah. bring these highways back to Long Island. Yeah. Back to New York. <laughs> Oh, like this is a dream. 2.9. Tiny backyard, babe. Oh no. Just, but it's cute. Little pool and then. That is nice. It's pool, patio, well, I mean, and then listen, barbecue. For that much money? You should have a big yard. Yeah, yeah, in my opinion. I mean, I will say this. For for what I just saw, I would take a small backyard. One, but this is nice. It's a pool, a barbecue, you can cook outside, and then yeah, a seating that's, area. That's solid. That's, solid, that's nice. Sure. Yeah. yeah. If you make use of the space, then it's fine. I'm vlogging on my phone for the night because we're just gonna go to dinner and then go home but we came to the same like area where we had rising time because we loved it so much and we're going to a different restaurant called the jackson and it's just like so cute over here and it's literally like a five minute walk from where we're staying so i love it big moment i'm about to try a corn dog for the first time ever can you imagine that i can't believe i've never had one we got corn dog corn and fajitas to share there's ketchup, ranch, ketchup, and then ketchup mustard mix or ketchup on mayo mix. And there's ranch here. I would just go in first. Just first. <laughs> Drinks are great, ambiance is great. All right, they sold them on a, a better tequila shot. Oh my God, it's huge. You can only do half? Oh, it's good. It's salt on your nose. <laughs> That's a good tequila, huh? <laughs> the guy was like, oh, if I sell this tequila, I make like a bonus. Wait, so we I helped him out. Shots, I just went down like water. Yeah, you didn't even like really. Is he pranking you? It tastes like tequila. Yeah. You have salt on your nose. <laughs> Hi everyone, I didn't bring my camera so I just filmed a little bit on my phone but we went to Jackson and it is in like this little square area that has like a few different restaurants and it is also good, that's where Rising Time was. The food was great, the drinks were delicious and we had a great server, his name was Nathan so if you guys end up there and end up getting him or request him, he was very helpful and was like telling us things to do and whatever. However, very sad, we are leaving this place tomorrow morning except very excited um actually our server so he's from here and when we told him where we went today he was like oh like that and that's how we kind of felt about it like it was a nice little suburby area but like not what we wanted and then he was like well how long are you guys staying here how long are y'all staying here and we were like oh we're actually leaving tomorrow and he's like oh and then we were like to austin and he's like oh just as good as dallas he's like dallas is where it's at Austin's just as good. So I feel like hearing that from a local, I'm like, I'm actually really excited to go to Dallas. I mean, Austin. Zane made me take a shot and we just walked home. <laughs> but we're fine. Right, babe? Listen, guys, he gave us this shot. Oh, what was it called? Super echoey. It was called El Sativo. Mm, and tequila. And I usually don't like, like tequila. 
I know him and he was like, oh, like, we're trying to promote this, so it'll help me out. Like, apparently the waiters and waitresses have a chance of winning a lot of money if they sell more shots. Yeah. Anyway, long story short, they were so good and they were so easy to go down. And if you guys know me, I suck at shots. I'm so bad. Like, I just do not like taking shots. Mm. And that to me felt like water. Like, it went down so easy. I feel like it was water down. And maybe you could tell, but I'm pretty, I'm a little messed up right now. So, it definitely worked. Mm. Well, we wrote it down and we're going to buy it at home and see if it tastes yeah. as good. Because it felt like it was a little watered down. But we'll see. Um, but it was. Like, it still worked. You know what I'm saying? Right. But all your, also your drinks, your drinks, your <laughs> drinks work. This I'm thing scares me. Every time I see this, I'm like, oh. I'm very excited to go to Austin tomorrow. I feel like it was cool that like a local um, said that Austin's really cool because he loved Dallas. We love Dallas. Like we will 100% come back to Dallas. Like love it so much. We're in downtown Dallas. But um, I don't know. I'm chatting at this point. But the fact that he liked Austin. Very excited to go there tomorrow. So tomorrow we are waking up, getting in the car and driving to Austin. And that will be our home for the next three days. So you guys saw three days in um, Dallas, and now you're gonna see three days in Austin. And I'm very excited to check it out. But your girl needs a shower. So I'm gonna shower. Tomorrow we have to check out at 11, so we have to make um, sense of all of this mess tomorrow and check out. So that's that. Thank you for hanging out with us in Dallas, and I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in Austin. Bye guys.